Kia. My friends call me Jelly. I've used the Kia Gen Journey to lose 211 pounds and I am not done yet at all. So yes, I'm driving. I don't have time to make videos today any other way. So let's start off with, first of all, if you're new and you want to follow along, hit subscribe, like my video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to support the channel in any way or give me a special little gift, um, PayPal, Amazon shopping list, it's all down there in the bottom, like wish list. There's a shopping list of stuff that I buy on there. When people ask me, well, where'd you get this? Where'd you get that? There's a shopping list. It's just things I've bought in the past and it's the easiest way for me to tell people. Um, but yeah, all that jazz that I'm uncomfortable saying every time and people say I need to get used to it. So here I am trying, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you yesterday's card manager. Um, I did, okay, I do not like the strawberry, natural strawberry keto chow. Tasteless to me. I added some sweet and low. I added some toffee flavor. I added some raspberries. Where's the strawberry raspberries? Real ones. Nope. Added some sweet and low. Nope. Added some toffee. Nope. Mm -mm. Still just did not taste like anything compared to all their others. So it is not something I will buy again and I'm glad I just got a sampler and now I know and yeah. You will not, you did not see a video yesterday of that so I'm just telling you now. Um, let's see. Oh, you'll see my Fitbit. You'll see my sleep. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I did 10,113 steps yesterday. I was really trying to kill it again. And I got seven hours and 13 minutes of sleep. And for my macros, I had 1,185 calories, 70 fat, 128 protein, six net carbs, 18 total, so I'm still staying under 20 total. All these numbers are good numbers. So, uh, yeah, maybe I need to eat the keto chow earlier in the day. I think it was 6 when I ate it. I couldn't film it. I was on my phone in the middle of a a thing, a thing y'all will find out about. Um, but I couldn't get off the phone to record it. Okay, 160.4. I'm 2.6 up from my lowest weight. My numbers the last few days do not match my activity intake, my calorie intake, my carb intake, my fat, everything. They just don't match. So sometimes, no matter what you do, you're not going to get what you want on the scale. There is no excuse for that scale to keep going up. 2.6 pounds from my lowest. It's going up every single day. Um, Maybe it's from the other day when I ate the cream cheese and the pork rinds and it's just taken a while to catch in. Maybe it's just because I'm downing all those ibuprofens and I gain a bunch of weight. But I can tell you I'm swollen. I can tell you my bra is tight and it's making it hard to breathe. I can tell you my, um, not my pants. My pants are tight because they're all so loose on me. But I put on my small thermals that I wear and they are tight on my stomach. My stomach is very swollen today. I don't know if, like I said, it's having too much dairy lately, or what? Because I'm not really like freaking out over the 2.6 pounds. I'm freaking out about feeling swollen today, and yeah, but it could be. I saw all those steps yesterday, the day before. You'll see some steps today. I woke up this morning and I have been non-stop rearranging my house, cleaning, laundry for days now. I mean deep rearranging. Like I was going to show you on my living room yesterday, but you're going to have to wait because I kind of want Dina to walk in my house and like not know what it looks like. Um, I'm wanting him to like it, kind of be a little shocked. I don't want to see it beforehand. Um, and hopefully, yeah, because, because the reason I could not record my dinner last night, the keto chow, 
was we were on the phone booking his flight and it took hours because the website kept saying refresh, refresh, refresh. Hours and I was exhausted. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I did not even put yesterday's video together until like early this morning and it's still not up and it is 2.30. That's because it's still trying to upload. Um, so that's why it was late. Because he leaves Hawaii Saturday and I pick him up Valentine's Day Sunday morning. So that's the perfect Valentine's present for me. I'm trying not to cry. I am so excited. Like I was in tears all night long. I'm overwhelmed with excitement right now. I have not seen him, I guess, in about 18 months. Um, and I, I, I can't think about anything else. And I even rearranged my bedroom because my bed is always against the wall. Now it's really crowded in my room because I have a big giant elliptical in the way. Um, but, but now he has the side of the bed with a little nightstand and stuff. Uh, I rearranged my living room back to a living room because always I had my couch against the wall and a big giant open space with nothing in it so I could play my Oculus and work out and it was just me. It didn't need to look like a living room. Well, it looks like a living room now. I stayed up all night, well not all night, but until like 10 something. I All day yesterday I was rearranging the furniture, vacuuming everything, sweeping everything, mopping, dusting pulling pictures from other rooms. Oh my gosh, I did so much. And y'all will see that in videos. I'm just not yet. So, oh, and I am not done. The bedroom is door apart. I need help putting the mattress back on. It is a queen size, double pillow top. Um, it is over two feet wide mattress, extremely heavy. And the stupid bed has slots, like slats underneath where the slats. And if you don't put that mattress on perfect, evenly, um, they'll fall off and you have to start over. And the mattress is very, very heavy. You cannot slide the mattress. You have to lay it down on there without sliding stuff. So it's probably going to take four of us to put it back on later today. So yeah, right now I am out to go get me We'll drop off the mail for my mom. Uh, I'm running to the Christmas tree store looking for some bath mats because I usually get them every year at Christmas, but this year they didn't have any at Walmart. They only have really tiny ones and I don't like those. So I'm going to try to find some cheap ones that, you know, look nice and is all wore down from me being on them. Uh, so that's a project I'm working on right now. I also... Um, got to stop that by Food Lion, pick up a few things like some um, Angus rare roast beef that I can eat, grab my meds, I can't wait until I'm off of them, they're the last ones I need to get off. Then, then I just go home and do laundry because I got to wash all the sheets and put stuff away and blah blah blah, so much stuff. Friday, I'm probably running to Costco and getting my family everything they need, and just in case a horrible thing happens, and he, because when he lands, three to four days later, he can go take the test to make sure he didn't get in an airport or a plane, and then you wait seven, like, three more days, you get your results, if it's negative, you're good to go. If it's not, then we both become locked in the house. So I need to make sure I have some backup food in case we become prisoners because there's no one to go get us food. But like my dad said, he can go get them drive through for the amount of time that I can't go buy their groceries. But um, yeah, there's no one to go get our food. So, and no, I do not trust instant cart workers. Uh -uh. There's been too many times I've had to throw the vegetables away, the meat away, it's spoiled, they did not check it right, it has holes in the bag, the squash or whatever has finger marks all in it with the fingernails, no, 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 no. Not saying they're all like that, but a whole lot of them don't even care, so that's not something I do. 
So I need some backup plans. But yeah, so that's my day. Driving, let me show boring. Boring, just driving to town to go see if I can find some rugs that isn't gonna break the bank. Because I need three, three of them, so I don't want them to be crazy. I don't want to go pay them 60 or even $30 for rugs, but I'm feeling I'm going to pay 30 But yeah, so there's something else I needed and I can't remember, and I'm really hoping I'll remember when I get in the place. I know there's some stuff I need to order. I need to order more trash bags. I need to order some more laundry soap cat food. I know tomorrow I need to go to Walmart and pick up more cat food for at least the soft food. I get the soft food from Walmart and the hard food from Sam's Warehouse. I wish Sam sold the soft food, didn't I? But my cat is very, very spoiled and she only likes certain kinds that Sam does not sell. So, she was being adorable today. She came running onto my porch across the yard because she heard me throwing out um, boxes and stuff on the porch. And she kept standing by the screen door calling for me. And I told her to give me a second. She would run down the stairs and run back up the stairs and run down the stairs and run back up the stairs. But she won't let me touch her. But she, and then when she found out I was coming, she ran into the middle of the yard. And once I got to that part of the yard, she wanted me to pick her up. But I think because I picked her up and stuck her inside my house one day, she won't let me touch her if I'm near my house. <laughs> She's like, you are not putting me in there again, lady. She did not like the floor on her feet. That was not a happy moment for that kitty cat. So, I have eaten breakfast. I will show you my breakfast in a minute. I will show you my dinner which is going to be um, keto chow. I think a top chocolate toffee came in today. I don't want to try the chocolate in case I don't like it. I'll try that tomorrow because I don't want two days in a row of crappy tasting ones. I am just really not a fan, which makes me think I will not like the vanilla either. But tomorrow, my big order should come, and I will show y'all what I got. And I really, really hope it's not Keto Chow putting weight on me, because it shouldn't be. I mean, I've gone through the list of stuff on it. It really should not be it at all. I think it's from all this movement. I think it's from all the cream cheese a few days ago. Sometimes stuff can take a few days to hit you. And we all know before, I kind of need a bunch of cream cheese. I couldn't have sour cream because the weight will come pouring on and it isn't from the calories because my calories could still be at the same amount. It's just I, the dairy, I guess. So I'm gonna shut up now and just keep on driving. Okay, so I only got two rugs. I didn't want to spend $30, so I ended up with two rugs. I also ended up with some cushions. I have this big giant round um, thing that holds two people. It's like a day bed thing and it's gigantic. But the cats decided to kill something on it last year and destroyed the cushions to pieces and they ripped the cushions and all kind of garbage. And these were before Honey was born, so it wasn't Honey's fault. Um, so, I'm hoping these cushions will work on it. It won't be round like the thing is. It won't cover the whole thing 90%, but if it can cover the t complete middle with two cushions, I'll be happy because I'll be able to use it. And this time I'm going to bring the cushions in and out of my screen because the cats are about to be locked out of my porch because I'm about to put it back together. So, yeah. So I got that, I got some accent pillows for the couch, I got a piece of art for the bedroom behind the bed. I had this big giant cloth um, elephant on the wall. However, once I made the bed into a normal position and not along the wall, it came off center and I can't do off center and there was no way to center it properly. So we will not be using it. 
using that no more because off-centeredness will drive me insane. So, what else did I get? Oh, tablecloths. Some cheap, cheap plastic, beautiful tablecloths. I think they're really pretty. For $2.99, I'm happy. And I think that's it. So, yeah. That was my little adventure. It's 4 o'clock. I am starving. I'm trying not to eat one of these slim fast things. I really got to put some more beef sticks in here, though. Because I'm starving. I have done so much the last three days that I am just... I ended up not eating till almost 1 o'clock. Um, so that was only three hours ago. But my body is like, feed me now. And it's going to be over an hour before I get home. And everywhere I start thinking of stopping, it's places that I know my weight will go up and I don't want my weight to go up anymore. And that's why I don't want to grab the Slim Fast Bomb in case that's what made my weight go up yesterday because sometimes my body just has to re-get used to something and I'll go up for a few times of eating it and then I'll just level back off and go back down. And But he's coming. I don't want to do anything that's going to make my weight go any higher because he's coming. So I'm going to shut up and just drive on home. On clock, I'm having four and a half ounces of ground turkey, two scrambled eggs, one slice of cheese. I mean, the strat is so bad. So I have 10 and a half ounces of boneless, skinless, air fried chicken with just Himalayan salt in case the seasoning or the uh, G, Hugh G, G Higgins, I don't know. HG, uh, I'm so tired, I can't even think of his name. Anyways, in case some of that is messing me up, which is a possibility, because that barbecue sauce did used to mess me up, so we're just doing this plain. I'm having my last collagen coffee, and then I'm having the pumpkin pie ice cream. It's light soup, because I didn't have enough time to finish doing it as ice cream, so I just stuck it in the freezer. Okay, I am wiped out. I'm still eating my chicken. And I decided to go ahead and switch to my Keto Cha ice cream. It's the pumpkin one, like I said. And I put more pumpkin seasoning and cinnamon in it when I was mixing it. And then some cinnamon on top. I'm so dead. So dead. I did tons of shopping. I'm going to be very busy all week long. So I will show you what I'm eating during my very, very busy week. So you might end up with 10 minute videos some days and they might be longer because I'm on a long drive to Costco. But I'm gonna to continue to eat. We'll see how my weight does tomorrow. Um, I forgot I used to have tons of problems with G Hughes, um, whatever it's called, little barbecue sauce. I used to couldn't eat any of it without going drastically up in weight. And it's a good thing I take notes, right? Because I would have never remembered that. It might not be that. It might be from wearing myself out all week um, and excited and stressed and taking all those ibuprofens and everything and all the cream cheese and the uh, everything. Like, it could be any of it, right? So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. But I am going to stay away from the barbecue sauce and see if I go down tomorrow or not.